And today in this uh, tutorial we are going to see that how we can exploit an SSRF by an automation tool whose name is SSRF map and if you don't know about the SSRF vulnerability so I have already made some videos regarding the SSRF vulnerability in these videos at my youtube channel where I have where I have simulated some playlist and I am also made making the videos regarding bug bounties as well so in this playlist you can find find about what is srf how to exploit this but our today agenda is that we are going to exploit an ssrf vulnerability in a real time website so that in order to get an actual flavor of the srf so without any further let's get into it so you just have to type ssrf map space github and hit enter there will be there will be the link first link of the of the tool which we are going to use today so this is the actual tool which is used to leverage the actions of the other services this framework aims to find and exploit these services easily easily SRF makes takes a bug request file as an input and a parameter to fuzz and here you can see there is a lot of modules inside this and by using these modules we can escalate our SRF into RCE and Redis RCE and many more. These are the method, methods we, which we should to specify in order to exploit an SRF vulnerability. In previous video we, we have seen that how we can read the files of Etsy passwords from the server and if you did not see my that video this was the video where I have escalated the SRF bug SRF bug and this result into the leakage of the you know leakage of the internal files which is the Etsy password so first I am going to copy this and here I am going to open the terminal and here you just have to type git clone and paste it here and hit enter this will take some time and this will get ready for you and now we can see that our ssrf map folder has been there so now i'm going to clear this and i am moving to the ssrf srf map lab uh, you know directory and after that you can see that there are there is the requirement.txt in order to install these requirement.txt you just have to install the python 3 into your machines which you are using python 3 via python 3 we can install the requirement.txt of the srf map and also we can able we are able to run the srf map.py which is our actual script of the SRF sudo apt install sudo apt install python 3 you just have to uh, type python 3 again hyphen pip so this is the actual command and type the password of your machine and this will install python 3 for your machine call linux so now i am going to clear my terminal and after that now i am going to install using the pip3 install minus r and after that you just have to say that requirement requirements dot txt by using the you know re and the first letter of two and the first letter of the file name and after that hitting the tab button you you are able to uh, get this benefit and you just have to auto complete the command as well so now here i am entering this is going to take some time and this will install all of the dependencies and all of the requirements which is necessary for in, in order to install this tool so here you can see that uh, it depends on the speed of the internet so now i am going to again ls this 
and this has been installed you know in order to see if uh, our SRF map has been installed successfully so we just have to type the python 3 and after that you just have to type SRF you know SRF map dot py which I am going to copy from there and SRF map dot py and after that you just have to type dash dash help in order to see yeah there, there is our SRF map tool we have successfully installed it from our Kali Linux machine and now we are going to see our target which is which we have used in our previous video as well so now I am going to move the target which is www dot and sumaya dot edu and after that I'm going to enter the dot n slash download slash download dot php and here will be the pdf vulnerable path which is vulnerable for the SRF vulnerability we have already you know exploited this but in order to get the flavor in order to see the actual site I am going to give yeah this is the link uh, which we have exploited and now I am going to use the my burp suite you just have to uh, open your burp suite and after that configure your burp suite at there and I have in the pre in previous video I have explained this in very well so if you don't know how to configure the burp suite you just have to follow my channel and there I have already explained in this video I am going to show you that in the previous video I have explained how how and you know how to set up your environment this is the video you just have to check and you will get how to set up your burp and here is our burp ready now we are going to capture our request which is our target website and here I am intercept intercept is on and now I am going to open it on my burp and hitting by this you can see that we have successfully captured the request and this is not our request and which one is our request I think this is this is the one yeah <coughs> now, I have, now I have sent it to the repeater and I have you know this is basically actually fetching the fetching a type of you know PDF file which is vulnerable to the etsy password and which is vulnerable to the SRF vulnerability and you can extract etsy password as well at there now you can see that this is the request if you uh, if you type like etsy password sorry, file colon colon etsy slash passwd and hit enter you can see that this is our root files and now we are going to exploit this using using you can say that an automated tool which is whose name is srf map so in order to do that what we are going to do we just have to copy this and we are going to make first of all we are going to clear this and after that here i am going to use nano rec.txt and here you just have to paste what you have copied at there and this is our request which i have brought from the burp suite and after that now uh, hit control plus x and type y and now enter this will save your requirement.txt file 
and here you can see that this is your required uh, request.txt so in order to exploit this what we are going to do we are going to use the command first i am going to clear this and we are, we are going to use the command python 3 srf map dot py and after that i am specifying the r and our request rec dot txt which is inside our this folder and after that i am using the module and we are going to read the file using an automated tool and here i am going to specify the parameter name which is you just have seen that pdf underscore path this is the parameter which is vulnerable so you have seen that this is the parameter i have used this parameter at there in order to exploit this so now i am going to hit enter you can see that here it has read the etsy password successfully so here you can see that these are our root files and we have successfully exploited this and by using you know such other types of things you can write the files as well writing files like at password too uh, you can write the file at there also so there there is you know a bunch of local uh, there is uh, ipv6 capable hosts and you can do a lot of things and there, there is the source code of the website you can see that here which has bring by the tool manually it was really hard so in order to exploit this as an rc what you are going to, what we are going to do we just have to specify our you know the module name and after that it will do a lot of things here you can see that uh, we have used the dash m or hyphen m which is module name and after that we have specified we just want to read the files now we can try something else and here i am just give you giving you a demo so you just have to check each each and every each and every uh, you know this and these option by yourself here i will try one may it work or may it not but i am going to do i am going to test redis rc may it work or may not i am not sure 100% but we are going to give it a try at least so here i am using the instead of reading files we just say that we want to redis rc and server host server port nothing we are going to specify and you can see that this has been failed because we didn't get at anything at there so again we are going to try mysql as well may it work in this way you can you just have to figure out which is you know which uh, which is the technology behind uh, this in order to exploit it into an rc here you can see that this is taking uh, the mysql username which i didn't know and i am not able to and here you can see that this is giving a go for such type of thing we are going to see what it is actually okay we just have to copy this and try in it our burp network and here you can see that header may not contain null bytes in var and uh, this has bring something special for you guys and warnings 
so in this way you can exploit this as an RCE and other types of bugs I'm not going to mess around anymore so I hope you learned something new you learned something which is very special for you thank you guys if you have followed this video make sure to subscribe my youtube channel and hit the like button and i will link this tool in the description you just have to check it out it there and this is my youtube channel i will post an uh, amazing videos at there so make sure to subscribe share and save this video as well thanks